What's up guys, Technicals here. So this video as a preface has to do with mining infrastructure, uh, build out type stuff. I know a lot of you guys like that. I know a lot of you guys don't really care to see it. So uh, what we're gonna be focusing on today is the internet here in the mining shed because I uh, did this to the mining shed, roll that. So basically what happened is I've been running everything off an extender up there. So a Wi-Fi extender, it runs, it chases down into a uh, jack inside the mining room. Problem is that I've had four instances now where it drops and I believe it has to do with something in the layer two, uh, something with the switching, I don't know. Uh, it's beyond my scope. I'm not a networking genius and I'm not trying to poke around. Uh, so my solution is to prevent that from happening again. My first solution was to get another Orbi satellite. I run an Orbi mesh because it's user friendly. I don't like it. Why don't you use Ubiquiti? Because I'm a dumbass, dude. I like user friendly stuff like Orbi. Uh, but Orbi satellites only backhaul on the five gigahertz band. You can't force them into the 2.4 and extend the range. So it's not working. I got to hard line it. So this is a detached structure. The only way I'm gonna be able to do it is to run it from the inside. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna chase the internet from my wiring closet through the crawl space, outside the house, into the ground, underneath the sidewalk, continue through the ground over a French drain and then up into here in the corner, probably put it into a wall box jack and then jack in from there. I'm gonna be jacking all day. If you wanna see me jack, hit that subscribe button right now. Anyway, I'm gonna hook that up. Uh, maybe this will help you in your operations. If you have a detached structure or you just wanna chase internet through your house, um, I'm gonna be using Cat6 uh, STP uh, to bring it in. It's a direct burial rated uh, Cat6 cable, uh, but I'm not gonna direct bury it because that's insane. You go through all that work just to be digging one day and you hit it and it, you're it's over. So uh, I'm gonna be putting it in conduit and run it out here. It's not that far of a run. It's just a pain in the ass because the one day I picked to hydraulically bore underneath the sidewalk happens to be like the coldest day in the past month. It's uh, about 32 degrees right now. So let's go. So this could very well be the last video I ever record uh, if I don't make it and they find this footage in a few years. Uh, I hope you didn't look at my browser history. Uh, honey, I hope you never remarry. Um, but if you do, just don't remarry, you know, those kind of people. <laughs> in the crawl space. And I gotta go, are you afraid of the dark? I gotta go all the way to the very back. I know there's a snake down here. I've seen the skins. Uh, I call them Mr. Slithers. Spiders, fishing spiders I've seen down here. I'm really more freaked out by cave crickets or camel crickets. They are a nocturnal cricket uh, as a defense mechanism jumps towards you. All I have in terms of weapons are this flashlight, uh, my drill. God, I hate doing this shit. This is the life I chose. All right, gotta go back there. Fuck. Oh, okay, there's one. Fuck. So maybe if I get this here piece of plastic, I can whip him. Matt, people are gonna think you're a pussy. Keep going. Into the thick of it. Right. Oh, look, an open electrical box. Lovely. I think I put through enough to really uh to get me where I need to go. This shit is rigid. This is Cat 6 UTP. No, it's TP. It's shielded. So it's STP. It's shielded twisted pairs. STP. Stone Temple Pilots. And I feel the... There's a, there's a cricket. <sighs> Fucking thing sucks. I'm gonna keep moving this. I'm not gonna pin it to the joists. And I apologize for my internal monologue. Yeah, that's a pile of uh, snake shit right there. Pretty sure that's what that is. All right. Got it. Yeah. 
So let's get the fuck out of here. <laughs> I'm sure any of my neighbors waking up for a midnight snack look over here and see me walking around in a hazmat suit with a headlamp and a GoPro and a flashlight and a drill and a piece of PEX covered in hantavirus. They're like, what the fuck is going on over there? What is this guy about? All right, so we got it chased out outside. We started our preliminary trench. We started yesterday. We were kind of sighting in a straight line. Come in here next to the gasoline because you should keep your gasoline up on an elevated uh, non-grounded surface so static uh, charges can nick it and it can explode. Yeah, so I'm out here digging and look what I found. It's a cigarette butt. Man that takes me back to my childhood. My dad would send me out into the yard to pick up cigarette butts and if I came back with less than a thousand, he would just beat the shit. All right, another absolutely dreadful job YouTubing, but it was pretty dark anyway. Couldn't really see anything. I made the tunnel. Uh, all I did was attach the PVC. I melted it to a, uh, just melted the end to a female hose connector and then just stabbed it through. Now I did this before previously to run an irrigation line and it took me a whole day. This was like 10 minutes. Um, I think because I used the rigid uh, PVC instead of using trying to use a pressure washer. Everything's gonna be cemented in and once I'm done, I'm gonna flush the line with water and then I'm gonna blow the line out with compressed air. I also tapped in the, uh, the little RMB thing or whatever you call this thing uh, to the inside so that way I can feed up in, make the connection down there and then feed it through. All right, got that cemented in, got the 45 bent underneath running up to there. All right, got the connections made, flushed it with water, and then now I'm just gonna uh, blast it out with air. All right, beloved, we are at the, uh, the point. So got this all secured in, need some fine tuning when I bury it. I'll probably uh, try to scrape fine sediment there and then spray it with a hose with water to try to pack fine sediment underneath just so it's, there's not a void. Uh, cover this up, reconnect the French. Uh, gonna be doing more French drain work around the property, so might have to dig that back up, but otherwise fill this all in. We're connected over here, uh, but before I cover it up, I'm gonna, I'm gonna chase the ethernet through. I'm just gonna try to push it. All right, so I got the line in. I uh, shot about 50 mils of Dawn dish soap down the line because it was getting hung up right here at the very end. It was just too much friction to keep pushing. So uh, in the end, I just cut the line and helped it the way through, but holy Christmas on a cracker. It was, uh, I knew it would be tough to push it through, but you know, I guess that 45 down there and these two 90s, you know, combined with the jacket and uh, just the internal friction on the line. Uh, but I got it in. Cool beans were buried. I'll have to get some, uh, well, come spring, I'm due to put some fresh needles down. Uh, buried up through there. Again, needles. I might just needle this entire area. It's so much going on. And then this, if it, before anyone says, like, your strip drain looks like shit, it's a temporary solution. I had this land cleared, and so runoff's been an issue. So until I do a more elegant drainage solution that ties into the network, uh, this prevents excessive surface runoff from going over here into the house. So that's what the strip drains for. So here in the uh, the network closet, I just put the jack here in the back. It goes down there to where we went into the floor. Got it chased in there. Those uh, surface mount boxes, I couldn't find any that would mount facing out. So just tied in the stud there and that actually will keep it from getting nicked by if I put something on the shelf and just ran the line up there to feed the back haul to the Orby and then the Orby feeds that jack, which goes over there and down into the mining room. Everything's up, everything's happy. Icy cold in here, everything running swimmingly. 
Got a spot here. Should add another CPU miner or something, right? The rub, again, I know a lot of you guys probably don't care for this vlog style or this build style because it wasn't like mining related, but it was in service to feed the mining room. And I know some of you have mentioned it before that you kind of like to see it. So it's the thing I like to do. It keeps mining interesting to me. So that's the deal. If you like videos like this, let me know in the comments below. If you hate videos like this, go somewhere else. No, let me know in the comments below. Like the video, subscribe to the channel for more content like this. I'm the Technicals. See you next time.